Hi, welcome again. Today I want to talk about OpenLand's RVT based road system, so how we can use it. Before we begin, I would like to give you a simple demo uh, of how it looks like. So here we have a spline based uh, road system. Basically you have a spline point over here. I can basically move it here and there and you can easily change it and it prints the road into my landscape so it's nicely blending in with my landscape it's quite cool actually the whole functionality is based on the landscape decals feature that we have released a couple of weeks back the description about that if you really want right then let me play this level right it's a some simple uh, road texture that we created right now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to use a mega scan texture as for this demo first i'm gonna change the road width about like yeah something like this base width then i'm gonna use a mega scan texture uh we have a brick texture i'm gonna use that i'm gonna drag the albedo base color over here right now you can see the texture and we're gonna change the scale in a moment i might need the normal map right then roughness map and also i need the displacement map and uh, the reason is when we're doing uv variations uh, this displacement map uh, is really uh, helpful so that's why we need to include that then i can play my game you can see these tiles are a little bit bigger i might need to change the size so here's how to do that in the uv tiling options i would like 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 i think that's that's about right and then you can see there are some repetitions we can easily fix that by introducing some variations like here right i'm gonna yeah do something like this yeah uh, it looks yeah it looks fine so here now edges are quite sharp and basically i don't like that sometimes this is fine but in this case i would like to add some uh, variation or noise into the edge so we have a couple of options we have some edge opacity so basically i can do something like this also we have the uh, noise functionality so we can run noise and do something like this uh, you can mix both and create something interesting but here uh, we have something new called edge opacity so this option is also available with the landscape decals as well so here edge noise opacity so basically we are running a noise only the edges of this road or pathway like this so now we I, we can increase this a little bit also now uh, i have the noise range and i can increase that as well and then i can reduce the this uh the edge noise fade brightness you can see it's close to uh, the center like this and then you can uh, tune this using the uh, these parameters and basically you can uh, like play with these uh, settings and uh, try to get the uh, the result that you're looking for all right i think i like this so now let's try to play my level yeah yeah it's it's pretty nice now it's a uh, it's a quite interesting pathway it's not yeah it's it's nice for a landscape like this right now i have showed you how some of the features of this uh, tool now i'm trying to start from the beginning so you can use it the first thing is this feature is a part of the open land landscape material so you need to get open land for your project and check the description uh, below on how to get that and then uh, you need to enable virtual texture in your project as well as you need to create a landscape using the open land as a landscape material and then here's how to enable the virtual texture and support edit project settings and search for virtual here you will see an option called enable virtual texture support and make sure to click that and then you need to restart your project to apply this change after that go to edit plugins and search for editor scripting utilities make sure to enable this sometimes it's enabled by default in this case you don't need to do anything so i'm going to close this now i'm going to add runtime virtual texture support for this project and here's how to do that Go to your content directory open land here we have directory called widgets and here we have a widget called open land rvt widget right click and click this menu item run editor utility widget then you will have a button like this click this add rvt support button then it will add some uh, volumes rvt volumes to your level and you will uh, prompt with some instruction to follow I'm gonna show you how to do these steps for you but always you can refer this text and and follow through i'm gonna close this then i'm gonna select this rvt volume height from the well outline and here we have a section called virtual texture and select the rvt open land height virtual texture 
then here we have another volume called rvt volume material in this case we need to select the virtual texture rvt material like this then i'm going to save this project right and there's one more thing we have to do then select your landscape actor go to details panel and here we have the landscape material section double click on that in this case i have a custom version but in in your case uh, it could be the default open land theme or the material instance here search for rvt and here we have a checkbox called use rvt cache make sure to enable that and save here you don't really need to learn about how this works but if you're interested and uh, we have a video for that one and check the description below right now you can close this uh, material instance now we are ready to add our roads so in order to add a road go to open land in your content directory blueprints here we have a directory called roads and here we have a blueprint called rvt road spline simply drag that into a scene like this now you can see we have a road printed uh, on my landscape here we have three spline points so basically i can move it here and there like this and i can arrange it as i need if you see some blurred textures that's totally fine now run your game once and uh, it will be okay after that here using a simple uh, road texture it doesn't have any normals or anything so idea is you always need to change textures so you can grab really good textures from mega scans you can use any sort of texture here so we don't have any uh, requirement on that but before we do anything i'm going to add some grass into my scene so i can see some interesting uh, landscape in open land here's how to add grass go to open land grass here we have a landscape grass type file for the ground i'm going to double click on that here i'm going to use a grass comes with open land grass project so basically it, it's quite easy to uh, work with open land so that's that's the only reason all right that's about it and then i'm going to close this file if you look carefully now you can see my grass is actually grow on top of my road uh, basically we don't need something like this so here's how to fix that if you're using open land grass it's quite easy so all you have to do is go to open land open land grass here we have a blueprint called open land grass manager i'm going to drag that into my scene and now on the details panel of this blueprint or actor we have an option called rvd hide grass in intensity i'm going to set that to one right then uh, basically it will hide grass automatically but if you're using uh, some other sort of grass uh, it's also quite easy to do uh, check the description below on how to enable that right now so we don't have grass here that's pretty cool now i'm gonna add a mega scan texture over here and i'm gonna run some options with you right i'm gonna select my landscape spline the first i can uh, change the road width like this uh, in this case i'll go with the 500 now i'm gonna use some mega scan texture for this so i'm gonna use a brick texture over here now i think my textures tiling is quite high I don't need uh, i think i need to reduce it so i'll go for uv tiling 0 0.4 0 0.4 something like this yes i like it now you can see some repetitions over here on my texture because that's expected because yeah using a tile so we can easily fix that by using uh, uh, uv based texture variations so here on the uv section we have the uh, variation offset i'm gonna increase this a little bit and also i'm gonna increase the scale and also i'm gonna change the rotation a little bit so you can play with these values and then um i don't have any repetition right now yep it looks good now i don't really need to have some uh, like sharp edges on my road and here's how to fix that here uh, we have edge opacity first you can increase this edge fade contrast and then uh, you can see something like this and that, that's pretty uh, pretty generous for these edges we have an end and start uh, fading and start fade contrast or we can play with these settings and we can have some fading over here all right but in this case i don't really like to have a fixed uh, kind of like a fading on my road because it's not natural here i'm going to set the edge opacity to zero right uh, because we are going to use something different here we can run a noise if we need but he in this case we're gonna use a different sort of noise and that's the next one edge noise opacity we basically we are trying to run a noise on the edges of my road so it looks natural 
we can do better here on the edge noise range and and start we can increase a little bit also we can reduce the edge noise fade brightness a little bit now you can uh, play with this start and end values and trying to get the feel that you really want yeah in this case i would like to have something like this all right uh, let's try to play this level right now i'm working on a pathway and it's quite nice because we use from procedural way to build this so i can always change anything we need for example if i need to change the road i can select it and pick some spline point and i can change it wherever i want also i can add some new spline spline point so i can select my road spline right click add spline point over here i can change the road basically we can do anything we like and it's quite uh, easy to use all right uh, this is about the uh, rvt based road system in uh, open land i hope you would like this all right i'll see you soon with something interesting bye